So an important thing to note is that simply in this notation right here, the only difference between y equals f of x and 6 equals f of x is that the y value is replaced with the number 6. So this is really asking us to say, OK, 6 is a function of what input? 6 is a function of what input? OK, well, that's, that's a question that we can s answer by looking back at the tools that we have to work with. So now in this case, we're looking from this side. We're saying, OK, well, we know that the y value is 6. What is the corresponding x value? Well, all I need to do is come over to my table on the left-hand side and say, well, when y is 6, x is 3. And so I could answer this question by saying 6 is a function of an input of 3. And I'd be done. That's all I would really have to do to answer the question. Now, of course, you can answer this in, in, in multiple ways. You can say, well, x would have to equal 3. That's also the same thing. But here, this is a nice summed up version of the entire problem. So that's basically the, um, the long version of function notation. But we know in our previous example that y can be found by taking twice x. OK, so rather than to have to, to say, what is y when x is, let's say, 3, we use the condensed uh, function notation that we previously saw. So I already know that every input only has one output. So I will say y is a function of x by using the condensed form. OK, so there's no, there's no magic happening here. This is just a condensed version of this over here. So these two things are the same identical concept. y is a function of x y is a function of x. We're just writing it in different ways. The advantage of the condensed notation is now I can say y is a function of x. And you get it by taking twice the x value. OK, so this again, do not multiply. No multiplication here. That's the key concept. Uh, there's no multiplication happening here. The, this is just the left side is just a notation. and You can't separate these two guys. But the advantage of this is now I can say find or evaluate y of 2. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means y is a function of x being 2. Oh, OK, so y of 2, when x is 2, I would have to double that value. Now, in this case, I won't use parentheses just to uh, avoid the confusion. But y of 2 would be found by taking 2 and putting in 2 for the input. So I could say y of 2 is equal to 4. And notice that, again, I, I just get everything summed up in one nice little package. Um, I could also ask, what is y of 10? Which is not in our table, but I know that I could find the y value corresponding to an x of 10 by doubling that value. Again, sorry, I should probably just avoid using parentheses so that I don't confuse the multiplication. So 2 times 10 would say y of 10 is equal to 20. So an input of 10 gives me an output of 20. So here's an, the ordered pair. Now similarly, I could say solve y of x equals uh, 40, for example. Well, what is this asking me for? Well, this is saying what value of x gives me a y value of 40. OK, well, I know that, that to get my y value, I take twice x. So this is really just asking me, OK, when y is 40, what should the x be equal to? And notice now I'm just jumping back to the equation form without using function notation at all, because it's a little bit easier to answer this question. Well, if 2 times some number gives me 40, I would know that x must be equal to 20, right? Because 2 times 20 is the number that gives me 40. And now I could come back to my function notation and say that uh, the answer is, y of 20 gives me an, out, an output of 40. So y, as a function of putting in 20 for x, will give me 40. The y value, when x is 20, is 40. The y value, when x is 20, is 40.
So this condensed notation allows me to work with equations and not just